as well as creating a manual backup, Kiba Backup for WordPress offers you the opportunity to automate the process to ensure that you always have an up-to-date backup. Here on the control panel, if we select scheduling information, we can see there is a front-end backup feature that is currently not enabled. So we need to go back to the control panel to enable it. Select the system configuration and the public API tab. Here we can enable the front-end remote backup and give it a secret word. This should be a combination of upper and lowercase characters and numbers. There is another option to enable the site to send you an email once this remote backup has completed. This is enabled by default and an email will be sent to all super administrators when the backup is completed. But you can customise this with the options below. Then I shall click on save and close. I can now return to the scheduling information option and I can see that the front end backup feature is now enabled and there are five different methods available to me for this front end backup. I am going to use a service called Webcron to automate it. Webcron is a service run by an external website called webcron.org. So let's go to that site. As we can see, webcron.org offers several services, including uptime monitoring and something called an online cron. A cron is just a computer word for an, an action that takes place at a specific time, and that's what we want to do. Webcron.org is a commercial service, but it is exceedingly cheap. If we check their prices, we can see that a cron that lasts about 180 seconds, which should be enough to back up most websites, costs a fraction of a cent. In fact, for just one euro, you can perform 2,500 backups, more than enough to do a backup a day for several years. So go ahead and sign up. It's free to sign up and it includes some free credits so that you can test the service out before committing. Once you've signed up and created your account, go ahead and log in. We're now at the dashboard where we can create our cron. Select the new cron and give this cron a title. Then select the timeouts, and as I suggested, 180 seconds is probably enough, but we will be able to see later on if we need to increase it. You now need the specific URL that you want to execute. To find that, return to your website, and here under the webcron.org options, you will see the URL. Simply select it and copy, return to webcron.org and paste. You do not need to enter the login or password. We now need to set the times and dates that this cron, this backup, will take place. I want it to take place every year, every month, every day of the month, every day of the week, and then I want it to take place sometime in the middle of the night when my website's not busy. So I'm going to select 1.10. And then scroll down and submit. My cron has now been created and I can confirm that by clicking on the crons. And here we can see it. You can now return to your website. Your website will now perform backups on a regular basis every single day at in my case 1.10 in the morning but remember the backup will still be stored on your website so it's important to go to the manage backups and select the backup to, and download it to your own computer